we got ourselves here yet another hoax. And th in this case, what makes it great is the reactions. Illinois college students want hate crime culprit expelled until they find out who she is. Huh, very interesting. Someone really should do something about all the racism on college campuses. Among those leftist institutions, there appears to be more racist, -y, racist racism than anywhere else in the rest of the United States of America. And that is unironically true because these are the most racist people that have ever existed. People worried about racism should think about pulling their students out of these leftist institutions that produce all these racists. Again, PJ Media is making a sarcastic comment. They're making a joke, but it's actually true. Take the recent Southern Illinois University Edwardsville incident in which a black female student discovered sticky notes scrawled with racist messages on her dormitory door. A racist sent the student racist text messages and someone even sent racially insensitive death threats. Horrible. Just wait till you figure out who the racist that did all that was. The victim reported the incidents on January 23rd, current year. Students were in an uproar. The college fix reports that students were uh, unslackable in their thirst to expel and ruin the person or persons responsible. Protests ensued. The fix reported that notes said, uh, die, bitch, and uh, black people don't belong. Evidence of a racist text message uh, thread where the victim... Uh, when with the victim in the fall of current year minus one were turned over to campus police. Local news covered the student protest calling for the scalp of a white female student who was at the point uh, at that point, the subject of an investigation, the head of the black student union demanded she be kicked out before the results of the investigation were returned because I feel like she shouldn't be on campus period because you threatened to lynch students on this campus. He predicted that the black student population at the school would dwindle because of this incident. Yeah, now, now uh, again, just find. Let, let's wait till we find out who who did this. The entire SIU Edwardsville campus apparatus was deployed to mitigate the damage to the student psyches, police, housing, the campus EEOC office, Title IX officials, and even the Secret Service immediately sprang into action to soothe students and punish the perpetrator. The white student was cleared, and we now know who the perpetrator is, according to charging documents. The perpetrator, it turns out is also the victim. Now put yourself in the mind of the actual victim in this case. That poor girl who was accused of this with no actual evidence, and the entire student body was out for her scalp. You can't come back from that. Uh, if I was her, I would immediately be transferring to another school because I couldn't trust any of these pieces of shit again. If I get accused of something and my quote-unquote friends immediately turn on me and demand my head, and then after I, I'm proven innocent, you know, you, you can't just walk that back. Oh, sorry, bruh. My bad. No, man. We're done. Th this is it. Like, there is no recovering from this. There should be lawsuits being filed left and right. Not just at the school, but at uh, the uh, like this black student community leader, whoever he was, that was calling for her to be uh, expelled. Yeah, the black student union leader. He personally should be getting sued over this. And obviously the hoaxer as well should have a nice lawsuit sent her way. The only way this is going to stop is if these colleges get punished for perpetrating this garbage. Like right now... One of the reasons that they are so quick to throw men and white people under the bus is because they're afraid of lawsuits from women and minorities if they don't do enough. Now imagine if men and crackers started fighting back. And like, fine, if you mistreat us, we will fucking sue you too. Do it. You have nothing to lose. Authorities charge uh, Kalieha Clark Mabins on Friday with three counts of disorderly conduct for reporting a hate crime. Clark Mabins stirred up the campus with the hoax and created division among the community. Uh, actually, I'm not going to blame her for this. The fact that uh, this quote-unquote community was so quick to turn on one of their own at a mere accusation with no actual evidence... There was no community worth fighting for in the first place right there. I would wipe my hands of the whole lot of them if I was her. 
a fellow student's reputation was soiled because she was wrongly accused. Her peers wanted her tossed off campus. Where does she go to get her reputation back? She has to go anywhere but this campus. And, and employers, take note. If you hire anyone from this school, this is the type of person you'll be getting. The administration claimed that such hate crime hoaxes are isolated and rare. Yeah, so rare that pretty much every single hate crime that makes it to the national news ends up being a hoax. I'm sure they only report on the hoaxes. I'm sure they're they're all real. Yeah, yeah. But did know that this incident should remind anyone uh, how important it is to preserve and protect due process and fairness. As I pointed out in PJ Media in December, after a jury convicted Juicy Smallier of making up his hate crime, there are so few racist incidents that people have to make them up. Yeah, I'm glad they're finally learning. As uh, commentator Clay uh, Travis once said of Juicy in Current Year Minus 3, the demand for racist hate far exceeds the supply of any racist hate incidents. Because of this, we are seeing one racial hoax charade after another. Very good point. If hate crimes are as common as they claim, why do they have to keep making them up? Why? Now, people just aren't happy until they become a victim from the highest form of power on the left. Yeah. And, and this is why I keep saying just block and mute these people. Don't associate with them and they'll eat their own. Actually, this is probably a case of them eating their own, too. I bet the accused student, the falsely accused student, was probably a, a raging wokey herself. So don't really feel sorry for her. It's just the woke eating their own. But she should still sue, though.